Hello everyone, I'm Kathy Arbor. Today I'm playing with collage. I got the bug. Um, I've been watching Dee Dee Willingham um, on her huge stream and YouTube. Um, I'll put a link below uh, for her channels and she is so inspirational um, and talented beyond belief. Like, she's amazing. Um, I've been watching her for quite some time do her um, collages that she does. She's got a really unique style and she uses some um, different collage papers from magazines or uh, calendars. She prints stuff out, whatever you can find basically. and. Well, she's been doing it for years, so <laughs> she could probably do it in her sleep. And I've been watching her and watching her and trying to get my head wrapped around her process and the way she thinks. Because for me, I have to get in the right, right state of mind for collage. Um, I'm very... Um, logical and realistic in in a lot of my art and I'm not really into the abstract of art um, like for instance I like to know the waters down here the land the sky everything's got its proper place where Dee Dee she just places things on paper wherever and I and before she finishes it she um, glues it down and and you're wondering how is she going to ever get that to um, look like anything in all her cards and and she has a collage book um, are just amazing they all seem to be able to come together as one whole picture even though if you look at it in a logical way it doesn't make sense but if you look at it in a whole it tells a story so she was so kind um, last week I asked her if she could explain her process for collage and she did and she did an excellent job so this is what I did um, using her process and mind you it's not an abstract nothing like hers um, but again we don't want to copy um, we just want to get in that mindset and do our own thing and this is what I did um, the collage she does is uh, well, different pieces of um, uh, magazines or whatever, and it's what she does is, is she uses a, a place, a thing, and a person or something living um, in order to tell a story. And so this is what I came up with, and this is paint and collage pieces and when you put them all together the way she does it it looks like a picture you wouldn't know that there's pieces of uh, collage and, and you had to paint around it to make it look proper so th these people and the uh, part of the umbrella was um, my person and then the thing was this clock here that I put stuck and the place was this waterfall coming down here so all these rocks and this water here and the rocks and all of the trees kind of a jungly look to it in the you know how the jungle is kind of dark but you can see the green um, and this water here is all painted and part of the umbrella so I thought this was so much fun and I think a lot of you would love to try this. There's no drawing really involved in it. You can if you want. You can do anything with this. 
But the process was so cool, and I thought, well, I'm going to do some cards. Um, so what I've done are four cards here that I've already put the collage on, so you can see. Because it took me a little while. I'm still a newbie at this. And um, so I didn't want to, it, it took me a long time to find the right mindset to even find the collage, proper collage. <laughs> um, but I did, and I stuck to it till I did, and this is what I um, came up with. So this here, I originally had it like this, so I thought it would be kind of a neat um, arch for a gate or whatever you want. And it was made out of partial trees that were clipped, so I just cut them out. So these are all separate pieces of collage. This was part of a doorway, I believe, and just part of a landscape that I put in between there. So when I was looking at this, and you can turn them around because, you know, you never know. You might like it another way, and it might tell you a story, too. So then I thought, well, this kind of neat this way. And I thought, this little bit of blue here, which was the sky, can be a stream. And then this in here could be the ocean or and then the night sky. And you can still add things to it, too. So this is what I'm going to do. Oh, I must have lost one. Oh, no, there it is. And this one <laughs> was part of a mirror and the ocean. And I like the fish. And it all kind of um, the colors went with each other. And that was one thing that I remember her doing was um, she didn't like to get too many different colors. Um, three would, was about the max. Um, this one I thought was kind of cool too. And you could, you know, turn it around whatever you way you want. Um, you can make it whatever you want. It doesn't have to be a moon. You can make that into... A face if you wanted to or a yo-yo or whatever story you want to tell and this one here were um, deep sea divers and this was actually spiders <laughs> but that was kind of cool so you know who knows what they're gonna find in a cave and um, these here which match the blue perfectly were wings off of a uh, um, some kind of a bug in one of uh, a magazine that I had. So I thought I would show you what I'm gonna, how I'm going to paint these up. And so you're basically playing with me, and I don't know how this is going to happen, um, what's going to happen, or even if these will turn out. So you're going to be experimenting with me, I guess, um, or watching me experiment. And um, so get a coffee and sit down and relax and um, or even get out some magazines and try finding some different um, pictures that uh, give you some kind of feeling about you like or interesting or whatever. All right. So I'll get some paint out and um, we'll get right to it.
There. Little guy fishing. Under the moon. It could be anywhere. And oh, underworld portal black hole, whatever you want to call it. And my little sea creature fishy coming through his world into the other world. Water falling off the frame. And I don't know, call this stairway to heaven or something. <laughs> So as you can see, there's not a lot to do. Um, it's just wrapping your mind on how to how to let go and just put it down and have fun with it. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I I really hope you give it a go because it's a really neat way of making your own little worlds or a story with um, images from magazines like it's um, it's so cool and it would be really neat in journals like you could journal on these if you wanted to um, add more people whatever you know you love about flowers or space or dogs cats birds, whatever, and you just incorporate them into these neat little pages. These are going to be um, art cards. Uh, I thought I'd do a bunch of them and then send some out. I think they're kind of cool. So I'll just put color the backs. Um, Dee Dee actually um, puts a gloss varnish from, um, I think it's Delta she uses. For deco art and um, they look really cool so just varnish them after they're done and then you can mail them so I hope you had fun with this and please do try it and if you have any suggestions um, or want to know anything more um, just leave a comment and uh, I'll try to put a link below um, for Dee Dee's uh, channel and um, till then have a creative day and a great night